Okay, well, let's continue to disappoint the Detroit Red Wings management fan base, etc., etc. First period of play. See, I'm, I've already given up on the season. I've given up two goals on 13 in the simulation. Make that three goals on 25 in the simulation. We will try again, and we will ultimately fail, I guarantee you, to come out of a game with a 900 save percentage, a plus in the line score. None of this matters to me anymore. I didn't even pay attention to our record, but we're definitely not a very good team right now. And I don't think we're close to a playoff position with Detroit. I was optimistic when the season began, but I'm throwing it all out the window. Look, we can't even stay on side. I came here in the offseason. I signed a one-year unrestricted free agent deal with Detroit. And just to see where it would go, what we could do with Detroit. Oh, boy. Tage Thompson. Well, there you have it. Am, am I pulled from the net? Is my misery over? No, I'm not pulled from the net. Welcome to my eternal hell. Anyway, I came here hoping for a change for the positive, and I have gotten anything but. Look at those Sabres in a full neutral zone trap. I think it's a 1-4 trap. And I'm already thinking about the trade deadline. I have, it's, it's mid-December in the game, and I'm thinking about the trade deadline already. Once again, I'm just glad that I signed a one-year contract, which means I can easily get out of it. It's easily tradable. And I'm an 87 overall goaltender. Who wouldn't want an 87 overall netminder to boost their Stanley Cup run? Then again, some of the teams that would be vying for an 87 overall goaltender would be watching some of the tape of my games, and then they'd be like, whoa, hey, listen, I don't think we should do this. I don't think we should pull the trigger on this guy. I just want to be on a team that is actually competent. I mean, you could... It, I'm not going to get complacent. We, I, I could get on a team like this Detroit Red Wings team... That's not even close to the playoffs, close to contending. And yet I'm still not getting the games. I'm not getting the, the games in net that I need. Cousins pulling back across to Savoy. That's a lucky save. What is it going to take for me to be able to consistently play really well game after game after game? How many seasons am I going to have to play before my actual goaltender's game gets consistent? <sighs> Oh my god. It's so bad. I don't think I I a fixed camera has not been the best choice for this recording session, but whatever, man. Like it matters, the fans are booing as loud as I've ever heard an arena boo. You think it's Halloween out here? The way the fans in the LCA are booing. You should have just never even come out. Save your money. Save save your time and your money. And wasting all that gas to drive out here, pay probably $40 to park, if you can even find parking, and then and along with the ticket prices and the concession prices, just save your money. Stay home. Don't come watch this absolute gong show in the net. Oh, it is. It's a gong show in the net. I'm going to, sorry, I'm, I'm going to play this. I want to play it. I want to play it. I will smother you until the day you die. And I can make that day today. By choice, I can turn that into today. Did I just threaten to potentially uh, murder one of my teammates? Yes, I did. Cop has found himself on a breakaway, and then he hands it off to Arvidsson at the last moment. The fake Chris Draper. Tage Thompson will score. Nope. There's a save. I anticipated that pretty nicely, but it's about one of the few saves I've made in, on this game. Please let me touch this. Let just let me touch it. I can't e I, even. Even when it's going frustratingly bad. I can't even touch the puck and just play the puck. What if I do this? Oh, oh, I don't care anymore. I really don't care anymore. Well, they pulled me for careless positioning like it matters. This team doesn't want to try. That was not a good game for the entire team. Well, you said it right there, reporter Steves. That was not a good game for the, for the whole team. And I'm going to blame it on the team in front of me. The teammates may not like it, but... The blame has got to go somewhere, and, and I'm tired of it being my fault every single time. I'm recording this all in such a bulk of a session that I don't even know if this is the beginning of a new episode or not. But either way, if this is the start of another episode, we're playing the Edmonton Oilers. The Connor McDavidless Edmonton Oilers, and they've scored already on four shots. Get me out of Detroit already! I just want to leave. I just want to leave. Well, uh, how about that? We're going to come into the gameplay 
having only given up one goal on 14 shots, there's a lot of potential for this to still go wrong. So just brace yourselves. All right. We're, we're just going to give this our best shot until we get closer to the deadline. Now, at which point, I think what we're going to do, what I should do, uh, is do what we did last season. Ask a trade around January. That'll give us enough of a buffer before the... Come on, dude. That does not sound like the Oilers goal horn, but who cares, man? They scored right away. First shot faced in intervened gameplay. As I was pointing out, I think we should just ask for a trade in January. That gives us, uh, gives us enough of a buffer before the trade request dialogue prompt points uh, picks back up in the menu screen. Because someone mentioned in a comment that if you ask for it a second time, they actually give you the trade. They grant you the trade request. We just need, I need it so badly. All right, that works. Save, yep. See, this high camera is so much better because I don't feel like I'm as detached from the gameplay as I was with fixed camera. I just thought that I would try fixed camera for an episode or something and see where it goes. It went in the exact opposite direction that I wanted it and needed it to go. See how much better I'm playing on the high camera? Aside from Zach Hyman's opening period. Oh, goal! Oh! <laughs> the problem is, is when you get down like that, you are pretty much permanently stuck like that. Whatever, dude. I'm just out here just trying to have a blast. Just trying to have an absolute blast until we are dealt at the deadline. Hopefully. I'm going to do everything in my power to get a trade request granted before or around, before or around the deadline. The difference is this time I'm going to ask to go to a contender and just see where it goes. Either way, at the end of the summer, at the end of the summer, at the end of the season in the summer, we will be an unrestricted free agent and we will get a decent amount of deals, hopefully, that we can pick from. I'm starting to think about what if I had signed with Florida? Remember, Florida are the defending Stanley Cup champions in this world, in the game world. Oh, well, there you go. Vince Dunn. Has scored on the power play. Was it a five on three? Nope, it was a, just a regular five on four. For some reason on the graphic, it seemed like it popped up five on three for a moment. Um, but I was gonna, what I was gonna ponder is, what if I signed for Florida and played for the Panthers in this season mode or in this season? Why did I say season mode? Um, who knows what would have happened? All right, that's the perfect time to stack the pads. Good reactions. I'm just going to try to make as many crazy out-of-this-world saves as I can until we get traded out of Detroit. Save on Hopkins. That was a pretty routine-looking save, which we just... Any save is better than no save at all, right? Any save is better than the puck entering the back of your net, but I think it matters not for the Detroit Red Wings right now. I got to check the standings. I don't know where the Florida Panthers are in the standings, and I'm in the same division as the Florida Panthers. I would assume that they're probably a top team, and I'm probably, I probably missed out by not signing that contract in unrestricted free agency. I can't remember what it was because it's it's been so long now since that episode was recorded that I thought that was a multi-year deal. We're just here on a one-year contract with the Red Wings, which does give me the flexibility like I said, of signing a new deal in the summer and potentially being traded by the organization. Okay. That's really awkward. Cover the puck. All right. Okay. Never cease to freak out when the puck is in the general area of the goal crease. Dylan Larkin absolutely bodied inside the blue line back there. Pass. Yep. Oh, my God. Cover that net. Oh, I got to sit. I got a save on that stop spread eagle. This this Detroit Red Wings defense, you know, I crapped all over Carolina's defense for being, oh, we're pulling me now? Carolina had that AHLD. This defense is really not any better. I have had a miserable experience playing behind Detroit's defense, and I was so optimistic. The first game we played for the Red Wings, we played the Maple Leafs here in the LCA, or not here in the LCA, we're in Edmonton, but we played the, the uh, Maple Leafs in the LCA, and here comes Dylan Holloway's empty net goal. Nope, just wide. We have seven seconds. No urgency at all. Of course, the Oilers are going to trap the neutral zone. That's an easy save. And we lose to continue. I assume a losing streak. I, I'm just going to assume it's a losing streak at this point. 
Oh, now I can't skip James Sapolsky's stupid segments, even though I'm pressing the skip segment button. Thank you, EA Sports. Yeah, everybody wants to listen to James Sapolsky after a game like that. Yeah, there is just no, no future in Detroit. The Dominic Hoshik style goaltending mask, the retro coho pads, can't save me. Can't save the puck. Just, it, it hasn't done anything for me. I, I just need a, uh, I need a new home and a new start once again. Well, I said we'd look at the standings and I will show you the standings. So, yep, worst team in the Atlantic Division with 27 points, but Florida has an equally abysmal 27 points in the Atlantic Division. So the defending cup champion struggling, a very struggling team. Teams to pay attention to this season, the Maple Leafs, Lightning, Senators, Sabres. Those are, well, I don't know about Buffalo. They're on level par with the Boston Bruins in our division. Let's take a look at the other divisions while we're here. Winnipeg, Minnesota, Chicago. Okay, so kind of par for the course there. Chicago would be an interesting team to go play behind. Connor Bedard and whoever else is there. Uh, William Nylander, I believe, is there. And then back in the East Metropolitan Division, the Philadelphia Flyers, Devils, Penguins, teams to keep an eye on, Rangers and Capitals as well, and the Pacific Division, Kings, Ducks, Kraken, Oilers, Canucks. And even though Vegas has Connor McDavid, they are having a bit of a tougher season, although it's a lot tighter in this Pacific Division than it is anywhere else. There you go. Turn of the new year, I think what I'm going to do, since it's the last days of the... What, is, what year are we in? 2026. It's the last days of 2026. For, for just for the, for the laugh of it, let's just go into the GM's office and discuss a trade. Oh man, he looks overjoyed to see me, this gray-haired old man. <laughs> Is this a Lou Lamorello light? Alex Strudwick. <laughs> Vince, you want to chat about something? I mean, the way he entered the office, he grabbed me by the shoulders. He was so happy to see me. And then I've come in here to ask for this trade. Oh man, what is the, what is the reaction going to be? Let's do this. Persuade. All right. I hope you're making the right choice. Where would you, it looks like he's willing to trade me. I might actually be uh, I might actually be luck lucky to persuade him here. Yes, let's just go ahead and put it in. I want to be traded to a contender because we didn't do this last time. Let's just ask for it. So that's what this was all about. Fine, you'll be out of here before you know it. See, he's upset because he was so glad to see me. He was like, oh man, Vince, the redheaded disco Jesus came in here to see me and then he asked for a trade. Well, it, it's been filed. Trade request filed, perhaps granted on the first attempt as well. Forget it. Who cares what the score is? Let's just go in and just have some fun. I don't know how everything's going to be edited together. This could just be the start of another episode or what. I don't know how it's going to be because everything is just recorded in a complete mess right now, the way these videos are being recorded. But either way, before this game, I requested a trade with the gray-haired old man GM, whoever Shrudwick it, it is, and he seemed pretty polite about it. He was willing to... Grant my request for a trade on the first attempt. There's some chaos going on in the Rangers goal crease and chaos going on in the Red Wings organization. The 87 overall star goaltender, redheaded disco Jesus man, has requested a trade out of Detroit about halfway through the season. Actually, less than halfway through the season. We're right at the freaking New Year. It's December the 30th in the game of 2026. And... So I didn't even, I didn't want to wait. I didn't take my time asking for that request. We got it done well ahead of the deadline. And oh my God, the groin save. Magical groin. Uh, okay, you guys want to get that off of my net and get it out of the zone. I also didn't just, oh my God, they almost scored on Kakinen. Oh, that's right. This is Igor Shesterkin's return to New York and they didn't start him. The coach didn't start him. They started me instead. Uh, because it, he just loved to torture me. Uh, in some ways, this this is worse than being waterboarded. Or at least some people might disagree with that, but I think so anyway. And I didn't just ask for any old trade requests. I didn't just say, hey, just trade me and surprise me with wherever I get dealt to like we did last year. Because we just ended up on a worse Carolina Hurricanes team. Um, I asked for a trade to a specific contending team. I don't know what the contender is. I don't know what the criteria for a contender is in this game. Because this game doesn't seem to know. Oh my god, I can't believe I got that. I think that was a stick shaft save. But this game doesn't seem to know if a contender is a team necessarily in a playoff spot or not. 
I think the game just sees some teams and it just gives them contender status just for the, for the hell of it. Do we have the puck covered? We didn't. In front. Oh, all right. Oh, Mike. Okay. Oh, my God. Please do not score on me. The puck is literally on my numbers. Cover it. Yes, please. Oh, God. That was an absolute shambles in the goal crease. Well, perhaps redheaded disco Jesus man has been resurrected. And he is actually able to stop the puck for the first... Oh, well, never mind. It was a fake resurrection. I gotta learn when I'm in desperation mode, which rarely ever needs to happen anyway, but when I'm in it, I need to learn to do spread eagle, which I don't even know how to do anymore. I tried to do it and I didn't even successfully... Oh! That was the post. Hold on, I gotta... Just give me a second. I gotta grind on my post. I'll just do it right now. Thank you so much, post. I'll grind on this one so it doesn't feel left out. Yeah, man, gotta get that, gotta get that booty sweat all over the post uh, for the staff that manages the nets here in the at the Madison Square Garden. Just a lovely little present for you guys. Might as well have some of this booty sweat I got back in the name. How many shots have I faced? You got the animated boards in here in the at the Madison Square Garden. I keep saying the Madison, the Madison Square, yes, the Madison Square Garden, the Cody CC shot brought on by Keandre Miller. You got animated boards? Just put the stats on them. Give me the shots on goal for the Rangers, or you could just put it on the score bug down there on the lower part of the screen, which now says one minute remaining in the regulation play. Dude, I want that shot at the empty netter. I really do. I want it so badly. The Rangers first have to pull Kakinen, which I don't know all what's happening. And then I got to be able to get the puck, but that's not going to happen. Bergeron, empty netter, bullseye, right in the middle. No doubt about that one. Now, 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 hope is not lost. They, they're they down by two. They could still pull Kakinen. They'd have to get the puck in deep, and they'd have to dump it in, and I'd have to be up. They're pulling him right now. Severson. Oh, yes, no. Oh, my God. I was going to try to play that. Let's see what happens with five seconds remaining. I got to get back in the net. No! <laughs> Oh, no. Oh, that's my own fault. I did not skate back fast enough, and it went five hole, but my back was facing the puck. Yep, that's why I... This right... <laughs> I love that he dropped Butterfly on his own. He dropped Butterfly. That's... <laughs> that's why I asked for a trade, dude. That's why I asked for a trade right there. How in the hell did I get a plus 12 out of that game? What the heck? I got a plus 12 out of that? Did you see the goal I gave up with like two seconds remaining? <laughs> and it knocked me down to an 866. So I would have gotten a 900 save percentage without that goof up. Oh. All right, let's see. Let's see if there's any news on the trade front. We'll just keep simming ahead. Oh, baby. Here we go. Where did we get? Did we get dealt? I saw it already. I know where we got dealt already. Oh, that kind of broke it for me. Yeah, you've been traded to the Minnesota Wild. Pack your bags. You're on the next plane to Minnesota. So I did get traded to a contender. Um, didn't last very long in uh, Detroit. I, I think I lasted here about as long as a pack of fruit stripe. Did that just say GM Strudwick? Hold on. GM Alex Strudwick. Wait a minute. Are you the... <laughs> Is this a family deal? Are you the son of the Detroit Red Wings general manager? Oh my god. This this is a family deal. They snuck this one under the table. Vince, it is my pleasure to welcome you to the Minnesota Wild. Yeah, I know. I I just spoke to your father a few days ago. Um, you know, not to uh, wow, already expecting a shutout. Not to uh be over dramatic here or uh, uh well, not to make a pun here is what I meant to say. Well, this has been pretty wild. A family trade. 